Welcome back, it's Nine, and today I have another big video for you guys. I'm going to be giving you guys a Final Fantasy VII Remake update as well as Resident Evil Village. We're going to be talking about Sony Santa Monica's new game that's up and coming. And lastly, we'll be talking about an Xbox gaming event update. Now, before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. Now, let's get started with this article that comes from WCCF Tech, and it's titled PlayStation Japan Play, 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 live stream featuring Final Fantasy VII Remake, Integrade, and Resident Evil Village announced. So PlayStation Japan announced a new live stream today that will be focused on Final Fantasy VII Remake, Integrade, and Resident Evil Village. This new live stream called Play, Play, Play will feature members of the development teams of both games, such as producer Yoshinori Kitase for Final Fantasy VII Remake, Integrade, and director Morimasa Saito for Resident Evil Village. The live stream will be aired on March 21st at 8 p.m. Japan time. You guys are gonna have to figure out what time that is for you, uh, if that fits in at a reasonable time here where I live, then we'll probably do a live stream for that. Um, this is really exciting news, right? We recently got the reveal of Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrated. It's going to be nice to get more details. I'm hoping they reveal more information about will there be more DLC in the future and what Final Fantasy VII Remake Part II's timeline could look like, although I doubt they're really going to delve into that. It's probably strictly going to be about Integrate. And then, of course, we also got Resident Evil Village, which is going to get uh, plenty of details announced for it as well. Really exciting time. I'm glad to see that Sony is going to take more steps towards uh, the Japanese audience and really uh, express that they are still there for them as they have reiterated many, many times, at least Jim Ryan and many other people over at PlayStation have. So this is just reinforcing that and also exciting for us fans of JRPGs and of course Resident Evil Village. Now on to our next topic and this is all about Sony Santa Monica. This comes from VideoGamesChronicle.com and it's titled Sony's God of War studio is seeking senior staff for a new unannounced game. And yes, we've heard a lot about this uh, in the coming months, you know, new hiring things that have been happening, new job postings, and it looks like this is just going to be another one. So Sony Interactive Entertainment Santa Monica Studio looks to be ramping up its recruitment efforts for yet to be revealed game. The studio said in January that it was seeking an art director for the development of a new unannounced title, suggesting the company could be working on a second project alongside the next God of War. It currently has 33 open positions with a number of senior roles also focused on development of the unannounced game. They include animation director, gameplay design director, senior gameplay designer, lead gameplay programmer, senior narrative designer, lead tools programmer, and senior level designer. So a lot of jobs. And this implies, at least to me, that this game is in really early development. We're probably not going to see anything about this for a couple of years at best, especially because we know they don't show off their games until they've got quite a bit uh, going. I mean, despite what happened with the God of War Ragnarok, but it's still titled or, or dated for 2021. So technically speaking, it's still due out soon as far as we know. Uh, so this game, I don't see us seeing it at least for another two years. Uh, if we do see it sooner than that, that's awesome. But given that it's going to be a new IP more than likely, means it's going to be even farther out because they have to start straight from scratch uh, with absolutely nothing, ground zero. So really exciting to see where this goes. Obviously, we've discussed and speculated on what genres we'd like to see. A lot of people seem to think that this is going to be a sci-fi project as they wanted to do one originally and it got scrapped or didn't get approved. So maybe this is going to be a sci-fi project or maybe we're looking at something totally different. Who knows, but I'm sure in due time, two, three years, we're going to know what's going on there. And I'll keep you guys updated with any news that comes our way about that game. Now on to our last topic, and this comes from GameRant.com, and it's titled Xbox Gaming Event Now Expected for Different Day in March. So if you guys remember a couple of weeks ago, Microsoft expert Paul Thorat tweeted that Microsoft is reportedly planning a series of future events that center on Xbox and Windows for 2021. So according to Thoros tweets, one of these events will be a What's New for Gaming event for March 23rd that will be followed up by a What's New for Windows event with no date yet. And it looks like Windows Central believes that to have changed. They say according to the website sources, the rumored Xbox gaming event might have changed dates from Tuesday, March 23rd to Friday, March 26th. So not very far off. And what are we to expect at this event? Who knows? 
but Windows Central says it proposes that the Xbox gaming event could be a more tech and platform oriented event that also features some of the smaller game releases the company has. Microsoft does have various other game projects and some of the sites speculated could show up include The Ascent 12 Minutes and Scorn among others. Uh, they don't believe that we're going to see anything about Forza Motorsport 8, Hellblade 2, or the new Fable, and I definitely didn't expect that either. I think if they're going to do big reveals like that, we're likely going to see it around where E3 used to be, so in June. And yeah, I, I mean, I don't see Fable happening anytime soon. It's probably really early in development, so maybe 2022 we see something about that. Hellblade 2, we definitely need to see something about that this year. Forza Motorsport 8, I think we're going to see something about that this year as well. And obviously Halo uh, Infinite, which we continue to get updates about. And it's starting to look a little more promising than when we first saw it. We'll see what happens with that game. I'll definitely give it a chance as I used to play Halo quite a lot. And I was really invested in the story of the Halo universe. So it'd be nice to see a conclusion there that uh, doesn't end the way Halo 5 does. So that's all I have for you guys in today's video. I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think of this new PlayStation Japan play, play, play live stream? What are you expecting to hear at this Final Fantasy VII Remake developer interview as well as Resident Evil Village? Is there anything specific you want to know about? What do you think of this new God of War studio job posting? Like there's 33 open postings. Uh, what do you think they could be working on? I know we've talked about it a lot, but there's going to be quite a while till we actually hear something solid about what kind of game this is going to be. So we got lots of time to speculate and have discussions about this. And lastly, what are you expecting at this alleged Xbox gaming event? Is there anything specific you want to see? As always, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description and share this video with a friend. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.